Hey guys, uh, welcome to another review. Today I would like to review the Lego City snowplow truck. Picked up this set a little while ago and uh, kind of waited to make a review on it. And uh, when the time came, I actually didn't have time for the review, but we ended up getting over a foot of snow last weekend. So, you know, I was going to make it around that time, but. I kind of missed it, but, you know, it's alright. I can make a review whenever I want. That's one thing that um, I really like about collecting. So now, really, I want to take a good look at this. Look at this. You can see, I didn't notice this because I built this last night. But, um, look at that. You can see the white and the, and the light pieces here. I'm trying to figure out what it says. Lego and has a bunch of other uh, copyrighted stuff, but uh, 20 bucks. Uh, picked this up at Target, seen it at Walmart. You know, all your big name guys got it too. But you can adjust the plow, <laughs> you don't want to adjust it that much. You can adjust the plow to whatever you want. I mean, as you can see, the plow's angled to the side, but uh, pretty cool. You can pick it up. Pick it up and uh, probably lower it like that so your driver can see without you on the ground. Scraping it on the ground, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Like that might be good. Just a couple inches off the ground for the truck driver there. Alright, so let's get a closer look at this truck here. Um, I just want to make a quick comment. i seen somebody posted about um uh, a lot of shaking in the camera now you know i don't know if i have a medical condition or something but it seems it runs in my family that some people have a little bit of shaking some people have a lot of shaking you know i apologize for that you know i know that there's an issue but don't make fun of me come on man i don't go around picking on you guys so don't pick on me and uh you know that's another thing probably for a whole nother video you know I could just go on and on about stuff people say about each other. You know, you got to be a little nicer to each other. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all here to watch a video on a product. And not to comment. See, you can see it's shaking a little bit. Yeah, you know, I can't control that. I'm sorry. But uh, let's take a closer look at this truck. Now, one cool feature about this truck, when you put it together, I uh, use these pieces here these are like gears and uh, the way they have them set up in the rear wheel is that you end up making this piece here in the back turn so it kind of looks like it's salting as you're driving so it's pretty cool very nice feature that uh, the Lego Corporation has done they also uh, here's a pile of some extra pieces that uh, you are left with so people who like to customize stuff you have a little extra lights here to work with they give you a extra piece of uh snow so i mean if you want you want some snow i know there's some people out there who actually take this stuff outside and they are plowing for their fire trucks but i mean if you want to make like a white queue or something for your fire truck you know there's extra pieces here i know a lot of people do them with the gray ones i know i've done them with the gray ones too but like I said, you can do whatever you want. You know, it's your imagination. You do what you want to do. Don't let somebody else tell you you can't do something. But, um, I mean, there are certain things you shouldn't do. But, you know what I mean. If you want to customize this truck to whatever you want, someone comes along and says, Hey, you know, that looks ugly, this and that. It starts making fun of you. Don't listen to them. Screw them. You do whatever you want. Like I said, not everything. You can't do everything because there's some stuff that's against the law. But, um... Yeah, this is a pretty cool truck. Um, I don't always put stickers on everything. Somebody asked me why once. I just don't do it because in case I want to tear this truck apart and use the pieces for something else or rebuild the truck, that way I don't have to sit there messing around with the stickers. So, you know, I don't know how long this truck is going to live, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty cool. I'm going to take the plow right off of it. Almost lost the truck there. I'm going to place the plow to the side so we can take a closer look at this truck. Now this truck is 
is kind of lifted um, you know as you can see it has bigger tires on it but it is kind of lifted here's the underside of it get a good light you can see the gear in the rear right there that's when the vehicle's moving that's what allows it to kind of get that one in the back to move there's uh three gears I think all together in there but uh yeah so they all work together Pretty cool truck. I uh, I'm glad I picked it up. Something different, and um, I think it will help the Matchbox Fire Department, the uh, Matchbox Fire, the Roberts Park Lego Fire District because I um, kind of took part the old plow to make something new out of it. So you know, I take stuff apart often, and uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll come up with something, and this could serve. This could be actually the uh, Public Works can use this truck. So I'm just gonna put that down and I'm gonna t show you guys this plow. It's pretty simple, nothing too complex. Several pieces required for this actually. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Oh. I can't do that with one hand. Oh, well, maybe I can. Nope. Not enough, it's gonna break down. Anyway, so like I always do, I talk too much, and uh, here, let's see, let's plow some snow. There we go. Oh, I'm not spinning back here, there we go. I gotta return back, I gotta salt a little more. There we go. Now it's spinning. Thank you guys for watching. So if you guys want to pick it up, Walmart, Target, probably the two spots where you can get them at a reasonable price. I would stay away from Toys R Us unless they're having like a sale or a deal going on. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. And that would be nice to each other. Enjoy your day. Like, subscribe. Follow my Facebook page. You know, all the stuff I gotta repeat. But seriously, go like my Facebook page at Martin the Man 16. So you know at Facebook. That way, um, that way we could get some more people following. That way, you guys know what's going on when I'm not uploading. You know any updates, kind of, so you know ahead of time. So thank you guys for watching. Really, thank you. You guys have uh, really, really supported this channel for the last several years. Uh, I think 2008, 2009 is when this channel started. So, you know, it's it came a long way from what I thought it would be. And I want to thank you guys for everything. Alright, take care. Bye.